I thought I'd do a little slot of trying to remove my Halloween makeup. As we all know, it's so hard to remove. I am going to use my skin wipes. Which are from Wilkinson's. These are 50p. They're the fragrance free ones. Now what I do to remove my makeup, face makers, first I use the wet wipe, which does take a good amount off your skin. As you can see, it's taken quite a lot off. And it's a good job I've done my thumbnail for my Halloween video because otherwise it would be in trouble now. That's one wet wipe of you there. Now the other one. Get rid of the lip part. <coughs> That's two wet wipes used there. Now with the third wet wipe, let's get rid of the eye area. Which is gonna be the hardest part to get rid of all the black, as you can see. Black is the hardest part. Now I look in the camera like I'm being really rough on my skin. I'm not, but for some reason it just looks like I'm being really rough when I'm touching my skin. I don't know why. Alright, so that's three wet wipes I've used there. Next, I will go on to my micellar water. This is the simple one, the cleansing water. I like to put this on after, just to make sure I've got every last bit of the face makeup. But sometimes a wet wipe could not remove. See, that's that one. And you'll only really need two of these unless you've got some around the eyes that is not coming off I think yeah I'm doing alright it's a bit harder to not wear my glasses I can't really see what I'm doing that, all that's took is three wet wipes and two face pads now I'm looking for the lid normally now next I would tone but I'm going to instead use my Halloween I need my glasses on I'm really sorry my Halloween 7th Heaven Trick or Treat Peel Off Face Mask. This one says um, removes dead skin and banishes grime, which is what I need after doing face masks. So let's get it undone. So keep it on for 15 minutes, then relax, and then we'll, it's gone, and then we'll peel it off. I have got my Primark spatula that I bought for things that I, I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm afraid I'm going to just be doing the fingers. Oh, it's got a strange smell. I don't really got my nose, like a cleansing smell. Oh, how can I explain it? Like it just smells like alcohol, rubbing alcohol and um, mint. It's a bit bizarre. Very strange smell. My daughter, my eldest daughter, Caroline, bought me this actually. And I finally got around to using it. I'd have had it quite a while. This must do last a long time. Oh, got my hair. Yeah, this year I'm finally using it. I had to wait again for Halloween. Right, I think that's all on. Is that all on? Squeeze the last bit. Yeah, that's all on everywhere. Now we keep this on for 15 minutes and then we will peel it off and then put the toner on. So, see you in a minute after 15 minutes. Right, it's been 15 minutes. I'm not sure if all of it has actually dried, but we'll have a go. I've noticed when you get face masks, they don't always peel off properly. Never do. I haven't felt any tingling or anything when I've had this one on. 
just a feeling that I can't wait to take it off. But no, it's not coming off all in one go. I just hate it when they don't come off in one go. That's not too bad. That's coming off. And then it gets caught in your hair. Like so. And there is still a couple of black bits there for my face paint. Right, well, that bit's a bit wet, so we're going to wait, let that dry a little bit more and then I'll come back. Right, it's been another 10 minutes. So I can honestly say that face mask was horrible to get off. It, it, it took another wet wipe to try and get it off and look, I've still got bits just here that are stuck. So I think I'm going to give this face mask a, like, a 3 out of 10 because it's just sticking to your face, look there's still a little bit there. It's just not peeling off properly at all. See it's still got more bits after two wet wipes on the face. So yeah, definitely a 3 out of 10. Oh, and I also had to go over it with the toner twice as well. And I still feel like there's some on me. I do not like the feel of that face mask at all. So it's definitely a thumbs down, I'm afraid. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon for my next video. Bye.